If you've been following Google News lately, you would know there's been some pretty big changes happening within the company. Most notably, we are yet again seeing Google go through another massive restructuring. For those that remember, in January, we saw a similar restructure where there would be one team responsible for hardware engineering across Google Pixel, Nest, and Fitbit. Now, Google is doing something similar with their AI and various software teams. There's a lot to go over, so without wasting any more time, let's talk about it. All right, this is pretty important news, but at Google, there's a dedicated team for pretty much everything you can think of. There's an Android team, an AI research team, a Chrome team, a Chrome OS team, a Google Photos team, and many, many more. But some people believe this can cause miscommunication, fragmentation, and sometimes a lack of cohesion concerning company goals. And that might be the biggest issue Google is trying to solve with this latest round of mergers. This comes in a few parts. For one, Google's consolidating their responsible AI teams from the Google Research Division to Google DeepMind, which is responsible for developing Gemini as their AI-focused division, and all model development is now happening within Google DeepMind as well. The second part of this is they're also consolidating their consumer-facing software divisions like Android, Chrome, Chrome OS, Google Photos, and more into the recently merged Pixel, Nest, and Fitbit hardware team to create an entirely new division under one unified leader and that team will be known as the platform and devices team. I know that was a lot, but basically Google's trying to make one massive AI team and one massive products and services team so the two can work together more closely to implement new AI changes and features much faster. Spearheading this platform and devices team is none other than Rick Osterloh, who is a seasoned veteran in many Android operations. He came from Motorola where he oversaw product and design and at Google helped launch the Pixel 2 and onwards, various Nest Hub products, the Pixel Slate, the Pixel Book Go, Pixel Buds, and the list goes on. But under his leadership, Osterloh's biggest goals are to speed up the implementation of AI in Google products while also building a higher quality user experience. In an interview with The Verge, Rick Osterloh gives an example on what closer collaboration allows for using the Pixel camera system as an example. He says, quote, you have to have deep knowledge of the hardware systems from the sensors to the ISPs to all the layers of the software stack. And at the same time, all early HDR and ML models that are doing the camera processing. And I think that hardware slash software slash AI integration really showed how AI can totally transform a user experience, unquote. And I agree with that example. I don't think anyone can argue Google's photo processing on pixels is one of the best, so imagine what that experience could look like across other aspects of the OS with a unified team that has the expertise to make the best possible experience. And that's what the bigger story is regarding this reorganization, as it's also reported that a Google DeepMind vice president will join the new platform and devices team, alongside a handful of existing Google research teams working on computational photography and on device intelligence. Because of this change, we're expected to see a few potential benefits in Google's product line. In a Google blog post, Sundar Pichai states the unified team will, quote, help us turbocharge the Android and Chrome ecosystems and bring the best innovations to our partners faster, as we did with Circle to Search with Samsung, and internally, it will also speed up decision making. And another quote stuck out to me with Rick saying, quote, we can't airdrop a new SOC into existing products, but we can design for longevity, then update our software frequently. Again, I know that was a lot, but as a whole, it looks like this reorganization should allow Google to work more swiftly, launch products quicker, most likely AI product launches like Circle to Search, and have a more unified vision for the Android ecosystem. In terms of how this will affect Pixel devices right right now or leading up to the Pixel 9, probably not much, if at all, as this reorganization will most likely see years before much of this comes to fruition. But this does show Google's even more serious about the Pixel brand and bringing all the divisions together shows Google is ready to put as much momentum behind the project as possible. I don't think we'll hear about this again for a while. Maybe we'll learn more about the future outlook at Google I.O. in a few weeks time, but there are a few ways we can speculate about this. Rick does outright say he wants to design for longevity and update software frequently, which is what they have been doing with the recent push for seven years of updates. But with this restructure, it seems like they're way more equipped to handle that. This could also mean we may see a ton more AI features for Pixel down the road, more feature pack drops, or even more importantly, better support for older Pixel devices. There's also the possibility it could lead to a future where Google has an even tighter ecosystem where Chrome, Android, and Nest all work very closely like we see with Apple, plus the 
chance for greater consistency in future products. At least for now, it seems like a good move for the future, and I have no doubt if Google plays their cards right, they can be an even better and arguably more capable ecosystem. There's a ton of articles on the 9to5Google website if you want to learn more, and I encourage you to do so. This might be a major turning point for Pixel operations as we know it, but personally, I'm hoping we hear much more about the future of this initiative at Google I.O. Either way, let me know what you think about this reorganization. Do you think it will result in better, more consistent products from Google? And are there any specific changes you hope will come from this? Leave a comment and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. But in the meantime, guys, I'm getting out of here. This has been Jordan Floyd with 9to5Google. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.